All right, hi everyone, welcome back. We are going to take a look at each of our cups and I am going to put them a little bit close together. So let's take a look at each, we'll look at all of them together and then I'm gonna remove the cards and put them a little bit closer because I know right now it might still be kind of hard to see. So we had variation one and the warm water and yeast. Variation two had the warm water, yeast and sugar. Variation three had hot water, yeast and sugar, and then variation four had cold water, yeast and sugar, okay? So now if we compare, these two were similar except for the sugar. So I'm gonna take the cards and kind of move them all together and you can see the difference in the, the foam growth here, okay? So remember I started with the same amount of water okay, and I'll bring this a little bit closer. I started with the same amount of water and you can see or should be able to see um, the variation one still has about a half a cup of water and there's not too much foam, okay? Variation two, look at this foam, okay? So the water stops about there. So where you see the like the one third a little bit down here, this is all yeast growth, okay? So that's variation one and variation two. And then we have the hot water and we have the cold water. So when we look at all of them together, okay, you should be able to see the difference, and I'll move so you can see better without me behind you, but you can see better the difference in the yeast growth between each cup, okay? So right now you can have a discussion with your class, your teacher, as far as which had the most yeast growth and what factors contribute to that growth, okay? So we should know the water temperature and we should also know between variation one and variation two if sugar is also necessary to that growth. So what you wanna keep in mind is when you are doing your lab at home with the yeast that is in your kit, um, we understand that you may not have a thermometer at home. So like I had mentioned in the beginning, you do not have to be exact with the, the um, degree that you are getting the water to, you just wanna make sure that it's warm. So if it's too hot, or if you were to put your finger in it and it's almost burning you, that's too hot, okay? You also should never have to put warm water and heat it up in the microwave, okay? That would also be too hot. Um, and if it is a little bit hot, like let's say you, you put your finger in it and it's you think it's hot, but your finger can still, you know, stand the temperature that it's currently at, remember you can let it sit out a little bit, let it sit for a few minutes on your counter and cool down and then you can add that yeast to it, okay? So hopefully you learned a little bit based off of that experiment. And I'll leave you with the cups to look at, okay? All right, hopefully you guys have a great rest of the day and we'll talk to you soon.